Okay, so Gail, when did you get into badminton and how did it all start? Um, well, I was very lucky in the fact that I started badminton at a young age. I wasn't very good to start with, but I think it was just purely with my mum's enthusiasm and encouragement. From the age of four, yeah. I mean, that's so young, I just sort of carried up, played in the junior badminton team, and um, yeah, I just I just love doing sport. I did all sport at school, but mainly badminton was my cool. best one, I yeah, think. Yeah. And can you tell us about like, your training, actually, from like, when you were playing a lot? Well, it, yeah, it wasn't what it was like when I was before, that's for sure. Um, but when you're a professional sports person, it is a full-time job. There is nothing else you have to focus on. You do focus on that sport. So I was uh, training from 8 o'clock in the morning, probably to about 5 or 6 o'clock in the um, evening, uh, six days a week. And it would be three sessions a day. And there'd be core stability, there'd be um, agility training three times a week weight training, three times a week interval training, and I'll be on court a lot. Yeah, don't miss those days. <laughs> <laughs> and what advice would you give to someone who's kind of starting to think about going down a professional sporting career? Well, I mean, to have an opportunity to do sport as a job is incredible. You get to travel the world, you represent your country. Just try and give absolutely everything you can. I mean, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. And um, yeah, just know that you can do your best and give 100%. If it doesn't work out, at least you can say that, and then, yeah. you know, whatever happens, whatever happens. Yeah. And what's been your biggest challenge to overcome in your career? Oh, <laughs> my biggest challenge, I know this sounds, it might sound a little bit strange, but my biggest challenge is, is you, yourself, your brain, because there are often many days where you go, <laughs> I can't do this anymore, and I don't, I'm not good enough, or I can't do this, and all that negativity and self-doubt, you know, for anybody who's going to try and achieve something, that is the hardest thing to overcome, is, to, is yourself, your brain, and to say, you know what, I can do it, I am going to do this. And um, you get that right, you're on a good path. Cool. And in what ways are you still involved in badminton after you've retired now? Hmm, I'm not actually involved in badminton as <laughs> such. I like, you know, showing off, you know, sort of like just doing a few trick yeah. shots against people. But for me, I like talking and trying to inspire lots of young people and finding what they want to do. So it might not be badminton, but it could be any sport. It could be drama, it could be music, whatever it is they want to do. I say, you know what, this is what I learned from sport. Let me tell me, let me tell you about my journey and hopefully that will inspire you to go on your journey. So that's how I like to look at it. Thank you very much. Pleasure, thank you.